you know, I managed this band who were a complete disaster called Alabama 3. In America, they had to change the name to A3. And I just always loved one song that this band had done. And I think they're still going. I don't manage them anymore. And we had just one of those strokes of luck where there was this new TV show being developed. This is sort of mid-late 90s. Someone said there's a HBO mafia drama. They need a song. I said, I got the song. And it was the Sopranos. So this band did this theme tune to Sopranos. And we got the option just for a pilot. They went, yeah, they're going to do one series. We licensed for the series. Then it's like, hey, we're doing home video. Pre-DVD. Licensed the song for home video. They're going to do a second season. And so on and so forth. This was the days when... TV companies didn't have their act together. And they didn't have the license that just covers everything. Nowadays, you've got a song, we're signing you for everything in the moon and the world and everything that hasn't been invented right. and may never be invented, but we, ha we own it for, yeah. 20, for 20 grand. I remember so, when Netflix started streaming movies, the whole question of whether Netflix had it was, did they license the songs or were yeah. they able to do that? And this thing went on for every season, I think eight seasons of Sopranos. We had to license, and the license fee went up and up. Band got dropped, band got re-signed, band got dropped, band got re-signed. They had three record deals, major deals, off the back of one song. You could not have had the Sopranos without that no, song. No, but what, and the, 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 the cherry on the cake, which is probably one of my most proudest moments is, and they were getting by this point about 300 grand the series, which, Sounds like a lot, but by the time the label gets a piece and publishers get the piece, you know, it whittled down and the band's account was healthy and they, they, they would see some of that. By the time we got the final season, there was this giant spread of Sopranos, final season. Annie Leibovitz spread on Vanity Fair cover and like 20 page feature with David Chase, the creator, saying how they thought the series had made them close to a billion dollars. It was like huge for TV at that point. It was really the beginning of superstars and TV. So we all got together with the label and thought, well, what if we just say no? They're not getting the song for the final season. And we did. We said, and they came, came in and said, no, you're not having it. They were, we've we got to have it. And we just said, nope, not having it. And we ended up getting That's the band. Cruel, I think we really. got them $1.8 million for the track for the final season. <laughs> One song. You know, but, but that's never going to happen again. 